In this video, we'll show how to embroider on a visor and the tips and tricks that you need to guarantee success on something tricky like this. We're going to use the conventional cap system here, and as you can see, this visor is hooked in with the wide cap hoop. And a couple of uh, standard alignment tips that you would do on a normal cap, but that become even more important on the visor. First of all is to take note of the bill stop. We know it's difficult to see here, but the metal tab here with the center mark uh, has to um, stop the bill. So the bottom of the bill has to stop at the top of the bill stop. Can't be below, can't be above. And make sure with your tightening strap that you've got enough tension that the bill doesn't easily come off of the bill stop. Finally, also because the strap controls level of the design, make sure that the strap teeth sit squarely in the groove of the seam where the bill meets the top of the riser. Here we have our design that we'll be sewing on the visor. Make sure that it fits within the sewing field of your visor, which is going to be uh, measure the height of the visor, which is obviously a little bit more limited than a traditional cap. Look at the height of your visor or your, or your design that you're going to sew. This says 24.6 um, with the machine set in millimeters. And it's about 25.4 uh, millimeters to the inch, so that's just shy of one inch tall. So one inch is pretty reasonable, whereas two and a half inches height normally, which would be about 65, 64 uh, millimeters high, would be normal for a cap. Go ahead and press this button here, and this green outline here is the position of the design. So since we're sewing upside down, we want to move as low to the field as possible. So use your arrow keys to get it as low and as close to the bill as possible. So you can get that outline to touch the red safety line by going to the machine's main menu, going to option, and under the machine option, scroll to, to expand cap limit. And you can set a max value of 10 millimeters, which means it lets you sew 10 millimeters beyond the red safety line uh, below the limit. So that gives us a little bit more breathing room um, when sewing designs low on something like a visor where you need every little bit of usable height that you can do. So we're going to take that a little bit low and cross um, into the safety margin. Now placing the visor onto the machine, onto the cap driver itself, again pay special attention to making sure that this does not shift or push. So once it's firmly mounted onto the machine, ju just double check behind the uh, bill to make sure the bill is still sitting right on top of that bill stop. And we'll go ahead and do a trace with that new low position. Whatever machine you're using, use the trace indicator, or whether it's the laser, the presser foot, or needle one's presser foot, in the case of the 1501, and we'll go ahead and trace to see if it'll match. And we don't have any error messages, but what's more important is will the presser foot fit? That looked like it did, but you can always try bringing the presser foot down and repeating your trace. And you can see as long as the bottom of the presser foot doesn't come, um, near the strap, you're okay. And start on needle one, make sure whatever you're starting on, bring your uh, needle one trace needle back up and we'll hit start.